I've been able to hold a, a different type of camp for a bigger age group because we're trying to slow down the violence, trying to bring guys together, and, you know, just mend around football because that's what we mended around when we was little kids. We all bonded over playing sports and being with one another, so. I think about it, not many people have won a Super Bowl, not many people do that. And to do it for my city where a lot of people don't make it out, it's even bigger and deeper. So just to come back, show love to the community, and just to show others, man, you can dream big, you can achieve anything. You don't have to be just football, but that's just the cream of the crop. It's to show that, man, once you just put your mind to it, you can become anything. It's all back to violence. Um, went through violence and lost a lot to violence at an early age, and it just changed my mindset mentally. Um, had to put my, myself and my family in different situations. I feel like uh, losing my father just made me turn into a person, uh, feel like I was the father of the family, like I was the man of the family. So for being the man of the family takes on all responsibility. And I feel like that was my task. So first and foremost, I had to be honest with myself and approach every day like I wanted it, wanted to be something different. Uh, approach every day like I wanted more out of life. Uh, and just living with that type of mindset and seeing my mother do it day in and day out. And, and having to take care of the crib while she at work. You know, it just instilled leadership and strength in my mindset to be ready for whatever, and, and I'm still fighting to this day. Bringing the trophy back and showing the kids, you know, this is what you can do in life, so I'm happy for them, man, excited. Yeah, I, just, I just told them, man, you're a world champion, bro. Like, it, it, that, that is history. You made history in the world. So, man, I just always just tell them, man, like, feel me, like, you my boy, man, I'm excited, man. You got you one, and I'm waiting to get me one, so. <laughs> Man, shout out to my dog, Orlando. Rest in peace. I just feel like, man, my grandma, man, she always looking down on me, always supporting. Even when, I, even when she was alive, man, it was always the same love, and I still feel it. I know that that was what they would want me to do. They would want me to keep going. We talked about all these things before their passing. Uh, it's really just understanding that death is always present. Uh, like, it's always around, no matter who you are, or what you're doing, it's always present, and being able to accept death. Uh, the faster you accept it, the better you are to heal yourself and, and you know what I'm saying, repair your heart with, with that void that's missing. Uh, and just continue to love yourself. You gotta love yourself before anybody else will love you. And the love of yourself brings happiness, joy, you know what I'm saying, you'll be a better relationship with God, you'll understand yourself, you know what you good at, what you bad at, what you can't do, what you won't do. And living in this space always made it easy for me to move past things that was going on at home. Kept my eye on the prize. Keep the main thing the main thing. Just keep the main thing the main thing. Just give somebody just to come out, kids just something to joy, and just love back in the community. And that's what we're trying to do. And that's part of our mindset foundation here. Just like the motto says, uplift as you climb. One child at a time, and in due time, I commune upon the people's champ, my mindset. Take me with you. I ain't everything. Oh, yeah. I rest. Yeah.